happening, y'all, and welcome. This is episode 100 of Super Flashy Era of Tomorrow. I am your host, the self-knighted Sir Cussalot Travis Pointer, a.k.a. the Dragon King, a.k.a. Big T, a.k.a. T-Money, a.k.a. Sweet T, a.k.a. Black Merlin, a.k.a. the HNIC. A.K.A. King That Thing. A.K.A. Digested Food. Oh, my God. You understand that one? Digested Food. You don't know why I'm Digested Food? Do I really want to, you know? Because I'm the shit. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Mara. The Shark Watkins. Hello there. How you doing, Mar? I'm okay. How are you? I am splendid. Despite the fact that I I have a personal vendetta against Grubhub right now. Oh, no. What did Grubhub do? Well, you know, as you know, when we record, I like to partake in the um, in the spirits. In and, the I, and I prepared myself to have a, you know, spirit-induced eating session after we were finished, you know, future order placed in. And I was informed about 10 minutes ago from Grubhub, like, we, due to some technical difficulty, we need to cancel your order. I'm like, oh, fuck you. Like, oh, we're refunding your money. I'm like, yo, that's not the fucking point. The point is, the time that I placed this order for, I'm going to be thoroughly fucked up and need this drunken meal, and you are not bringing it to me right now. Damn the money back. I want the food. <laughs> like, I gave you the money because I wanted the food. So I don't know what I'm going to do. One would think, yo, you should probably stop drinking so you won't have that problem. I'm not going to. Oh my God. So when we're done recording this, I don't know what's going to happen. We shall see. Hence my personal vendetta against Grubhub at this very moment. That was weird. Anyway. What? Nothing. Nothing. I saw something on the floor, but it wasn't actually... Never mind. Not important. Anyway. What we're here to talk about, not my anger at Grubhub, we are here to talk about the Arrowverse. That'd be Supergirl, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, Black Lightning, Batwoman, all them. So, I think we should get into it because, you know, the crisis has begun. It is. It is time. We've been waiting on this shit. Years ago, we were told a crisis was coming because we were told the Flash was supposed to vanish in this crisis. And now the crisis is here. So let's talk about this crisis. You want to talk about the crisis? That's why we're here. It is why we're here. On episode 100, in my accidental genius, to talk about the crisis. So... Normally, this is the time where I ask you, like, you know, where would you like to begin? But I feel like this is one of those weeks which is kind of obvious. We just got to go in order. So. Yeah. We will start with part one, which was Supergirl, which was called Crisis on. What was it called? You know, part one, I guess. Crisis on Infinite Earths part one. It's just, you know, what they've been doing. Yeah, there's no title names. It's just part one, part two, part three. Yeah, yeah. Except for Black Lightning that had a different a different one, but we'll get to that when we get to it. You good? Yes. All right. So, part one kicks off. We getting flashes of other Earths, you know. We were told the Titans would be in this, 
And they were for about three seconds. And they Is were that going. what Earth 89 was? No, Earth 89 was from the... Uh, was from the I mean, Earth... Uh, actually, no, Earth 9 is what I'm thinking of. Yes, that was them. Um, 89 was, you know, the 89 Batman. And then oh, okay. We also got... Um, Earth the, X. Well, we got that, but we also got the Burt Ward appearance from, you know, his thing. When he was, you know, Robin, he got his little appearance like, holy blah, 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 and they took him out, so... yeah. Um, but yeah, we got a little flash of other Earth, so that was fun. It was cool, even though they got wiped out right away. But then on Earth 38, the weird dragon alien thing is back just causing a ruckus. And Carl's like, yo, what the fuck is up? Why are you tripping right now? Because, you know, he knows something's up. Like most animals do. Yeah, yeah. And then the sky turns all red and shit, and John's like, yo, some shit's going down. Crisis. So he tells them all what's going on. <clears throat> Problem is, this wave is heading for Argo. I take them all out. Everyone. Yeah, yeah. So we get a flash at Argo. We see Lois and Clark doing their parenting thing. And then they get a little hologram message from Kara. She's warning them about what's about to happen. They're like, oh, shit. And they put the baby in the pod. Now, here's She's my question. familiar. Yeah, it's very familiar. But you would think, you know, as someone who has had, who has been put in a pod before and has a cousin who has been put in a pod before because some catastrophic thing has happened to the world he lived on, you would think they'd have more than one pod. Yep. Why don't they have more than one pod, Mom? That's the, I even wrote that. I was like, why do they never have enough pods for people? Well, the first time I can understand, you know. But now it's like, okay, this has happened before. It's a safety precaution, like just yeah. in case. Yeah. At least have one for each person, like in your family. Like you only have the one for the kid. Why do you not have one for you, for your wife, and your child? Like why do you or not have one? Three? Big enough. Or, or, or one big enough for all three of you. Exactly. What the hell? So there's that. Then we flash to Oliver and Mia only and you. You know, we saw that already, though. But then we got Harbinger, who's just, you know, basically gathering the team. We see it go and get Barry. We see her go and get Batwoman. We see her snatch up the legends. And by the legends, I just mean Sarah and Ray. The two most important ones. Yeah, the ones that really matter outside of Mick. We get Mick later because, you know, there is no legend without Mick. I still maintain that he is my favorite on the legends. Um, oh, also, apparently she snatched up Superman and Lois because, you know, they matter just, to in, I'll take just in the nick of time. Yeah, yeah. And they bring everybody to Earth 38. And uh, yeah, Batwoman's not happy because she was in the middle of, in, you know, just trying to get information out of one of them rabbits. And she punches Harbinger. By the way, Harbinger is Lila if you all are like, you know, confused about that. You shouldn't be if you're listening to this, but. <laughs> Should have watched the episode already. Yeah, like if you haven't, if you somehow started listening to this before watching the episode, you weirdo. Harbinger is Lila. You're a weird kind of kink that I don't think I'm into. Like you didn't watch this week's episodes or last week's, and then you will listen to this episode of the podcast. Like that's weird. On so many levels. Which is why I'm not even throwing out spoiler warnings ever on this show. Because why would you listen to this podcast before watching the cast? <laughs> Fucking weirdos. I know you exist out there. I know there are people out there that do this. I feel like the people who read like the last page of a book or like just read a random page in a book before they actually start the book. That's dumb. I've never met someone who did that. But I believe that people like that exist. Mm-hmm. It's a weird thing. I'd be like, just start the book. So anyway, Kate's pissed, and she punches Harbinger. 
which I was just like, you know. Why? No, I'm not, I wasn't saying why. I was saying, you know, somebody need to hit her in the mouth at some point. <laughs> Last few weeks, you've been pissing people off and nobody has hit her in the mouth. And, you know, Kate did it. So, cool. Now, all I need is for somebody to hit Lena in the mouth. Right. Just which one is, good. Because that's what I've been waiting on for real. Because this episode, she pissed me the fuck off, too. But we got She's a real in every episode. We got a real fun line in this episode though when when Brainy says this woman speaks to rabbits. <laughs> He's just like, what the hell? That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> because Kate said that rabbit was gonna talk before Harbinger took her away. And so Brainy's just like, This woman speaks to rabbits. He's like, what an amazing talent that is. <laughs> he was so genuine. And that's what was so good about it. Like, that must be her ability. She speaks to rap. <laughs> I don't know how that becomes useful in the case, but that's, but, hey, that's amazing. A life saved, you know? It's just... <laughs> so, apparently, the monitor wants them to make their stand right here on Earth 38. On a car, is there? Yeah, yeah. So, somehow, Superman's kid is on an alternate Earth in 2046. Because reasons. And it kind of, we'll get to that in a second, because they gave it to me, but didn't give it to me, and I'm like, oh, fuck you. But anyway, we also see Mia getting a new suit. She gets her own Green Arrow suit. Mm-hmm. Which is one of those moments she's like, oh, single thug tear, you know? Oh. This is also when Barry informs Oliver, like, yo, I'm supposed to die. Monitor told me. And Oliver is clearly in, in you know, fuck that mode. Oliver looked like a scorned lover. Yeah, he was like, oh, no, no, no. Fuck that. Like, no, 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 no. Like I, I die. A, we made a goddamn deal. I die. Kara and Barry live. The fuck is wrong with you? So he's like, yo, bring your ass. We need to talk. Like he just looks like he's talking to the air. So Barry's like, yo, who the fuck you talking to? And I was like, oh, I, you know who I'm talking to. He'll answer me. He he's listening, little fucker. And so he was if Arrow like, and Flash were black. What's that? So if only the shows were like all black and written by all black people. Yeah, yeah, that's what it would be. He would be like, yo, what the fuck? And he, you know, monitor brings Arrow to his little weird space. And he was like, yeah, the deal you made was for last year's threat, blah, 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 blah. And, I, and of course, I was like, you son of a bitch. Like, how do we fix this then? Like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Never really gets an answer, by the way. Just Nope. Anyway, then we get out. Oh, yeah, that was last year. Now it's this year. Exactly. That was that was new an year, new crisis. Problem. Exactly. That was an Elseworlds problem. You know, we, we you saved them from the Elseworlds shit. You didn't save them from the crisis. Right. You didn't read that tiny fine, fine, fine print at the bottom on the back. <laughs> <laughs> bottom left hand corner. You need a magnifying glass to find it. Basically. So we get Alice going to see Lena because, um, yeah, they need her help. And she has a nerve to get a motherfucking attitude. And I'm right. just <sighs> like, are we going to ignore the fact that you just unleashed Lex's weapons on Carl last week? Like, and and we're, we're somehow shocked that there was kryptonite involved? It's fucking Lex. Anti Superman weapons. Yes, there's fucking kryptonite. The fuck it anywhere. Like you treat me like a villain, blah blah blah. You lied to me. Blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, we did. Get over it. Fuck you. And then you also lied for months to us. Like Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I so just, now you're no better. Mara, I don't like her. I told you. I, somebody needs to hit her. Like Alex should have hit her right here. And I'd have felt better. Like when she said, you don't have to be begging me to ask you to help the world. It's crazy that you just imagine I wouldn't want to. 
you unleashed this attack on Supergirl last week. Like you're trying to mind control the the cut the world. Actually, yes, I have doubts. I'm not a villain. Yeah, Lex doesn't think he's a fucking villain either. But anyway, then we get one armed Oliver in 2046. He has the Kryptonian baby on Earth 16. Yeah, and he has no idea what's going on. He don't know about the crisis on his Earth. Sarah never came back. Like he's just it's a different shit. Some different shit. And he doesn't know that there's other Earths to begin with. Yeah, there's all of that. And my thing was, yeah, I appreciate you tying up that one-armed Oliver loose end because we did get that on Legends. They went into the future and they saw one-armed Oliver. Like, oh, we must have gone into the future on an alternate Earth. It was bullshit, but okay. At least you tried. You know what I'm saying? You tried it, but it's okay. Yeah. It was just like, eh, you, you had to do something with that because Oliver's going to die before he becomes one-armed. So, okay. Um. So, yeah, they have, you know, back on Earth-38, we have these quantum towers that are holding back the antimatter wave, so they got to, like, you know, defend them. And we got these crazy ghost demon things that they call shadow dementors. demons. Dementors. Not dementors. They're shadow demons, all right? That's what they call them. Those are shadow scary demons. ass. This is DC. This is not Harry Potter. These are shadow demons. Whatever you say. DC existed before the Harry Potter world. Therefore, they're shadow demons. Whatever. Shadow demons. Anyway. We get some Alex and Lena techno babble about, you know, some shit that they're doing, trying to get the portals open and all that, blah, blah, blah. It also made me realize, I didn't really, and I don't think it was that, I, I want to say this before I say my original thought. I don't think Alex is dumb. I know she's smart as hell. She's very intelligent. I didn't realize how scientifically smart she was. You, you, just know what I'm you just don't remember the first season then. No. That's what that is. Because there's a whole lot of that in the first season, her background, her scientific background, all that kind of stuff, which is why Carl was so surprised that she was part of the DEO. Oh, okay. Because she thought she was all science and all that shit. She didn't know she was also combat shit. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. I think you I've forgotten, forgotten that season. You, you've forgotten it. It's fine. It's It's understandable. It was so long ago. So we got the hero yeah. fighting off the shadow demon and trying to hold him off while everybody gets away, gets off the earth. And the modder shows up like, yo, we've lost this. Time fight. to go. Time to get up out this of here. This ain't it. So he starts snatching up all the heroes like, yo, we got to get up out of here. Send them all to Earth One. And I was like, fuck that. I'm going to keep fighting. He shoots him with an arrow because somehow an arrow can hit him now. I don't know why, but somehow an arrow works now. So he can keep fighting. And not only does it hit him, it like disables him for a long period of time. So he right. Can keep, so he can keep fighting to save more people. So more people can get away at least. And <sighs> we find out later on, well, not later, a little bit after this, that Nashwell's pariah. In those scenes we were seeing last week was not talking to the monitor. He was talking to the anti-monitor. And he actually, in those little button pressing things he did, he freed the anti-monitor. And I'm like, you some of a bitch. I need more details on that shit. Right. Like, they kind of explained it later, but that's not enough for me. I need more. I need more. But then, you know, Oliver gets off. He got all fucked up. And then Oliver dies. And let me say, this felt like a very anticlimactic death. Which is why I'm like, he'll be back. Outside of the fact there are more Arrow episodes left, you know. But I was just like, 
he'll be back. That he has to be back because this is not the death they're going to give Oliver Queen. There's no way they send him off like this to die off screen too. Well, there's that, but he well, he didn't die off screen. He died on screen. It was, like fighting, the, just I don't know. The 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 the, the damage that caused his death happened off screen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it was just like, eh, nah, we're this this can't be it. But the monitor points out, like, yo, this is not the way I saw him dying. What the fuck? You know, all that. Which opens up the door that everything he saw is not infallible. You know, things can right. be things. everything's up to chance. Everything can change. So they left a little hole, like, ha. No, no, no. So that was part one. Is there anything like, else oh. in part one you want to make sure I talk about? Um, no, I think you got everything. Well, then let's move on to part two. Batwoman. Yes, this was the Batwoman episode. By the way, did you watch any of the um, the Crisis Aftermath stuff? What? It was a little after the show talk show that thing that they did. They did um, it on no. Sunday night and they did it on Tuesday night. Oh, no, I did not. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, man. Kevin Smith hosted it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've talked about this before. I, I love Kevin Smith more than certain relatives of mine. So I was all about it. Well, you know. Maybe I'll give it a watch afterwards. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's kind of like, you know, you've watched like Talking Dead after The Walking Dead, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one of those. You got some like, you know, some actors from the show popped up on there, like uh Mia was on there, um, the monitor was on there. Um the dude who was in eighty nine Batman that was in that eighty nine uni- in Earth eighty nine scene that got blown out right away, he was in it. I don't know who I remember him being in the movie, but I don't remember who he was. But yeah. A lot of them were in the sh- were on the show. It was fun. It was cool, you know. Kind of help put things in perspective too. Okay. So small yeah, things I definitely have, will. Your little small things you might have missed, like, oh, that was this earth, and this happened right here, and that blah blah blah. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. So anyway, this episode here that we're talking about kicks off with uh Sarah, Kate, and Cara they're sitting around talking, you know, remembering Oliver and all that. And then Lila shows up, and we see here that. John doesn't know that Oliver's dead yet. Right. I was like, John don't know nothing's going on. Y'all are trifling. Oh, he don't know. There's no y'all. There's, it's Lila. She was actually just with him and didn't tell him. There's no y'all in this. This is Lila being fucked up. She's been fucked up since the first episode of this season. So anyway... Then the monitor shows up with Ray. They're like, yo, we need to get to the Wave Rider because we need the Wave Rider. And Sarah's like, well, I promised my crew no more crossovers. We wouldn't do no more crossovers. Why? Why would you promise that? I don't know. That's like, that's a check. Why would you do that? So anyway, they're like, well, we don't need your crew. We just need the ship. So they go to an alternate Earth Wave Rider where Snart is the AI, which is fun to hear. And mix on there. He's just like, you had me at beer. Yeah, they was like, it's the one from Earth 79, I believe is what they said. And Mick is the only one on the ship. Or he says Snart is the AI. And they're on the Wave Rider. And this was the fun moment where the monitor's trying to give this speech and the baby keeps crying. To interrupt him. Yeah. He looked at he looked at John baby Jonathan and was like, nigga, I'm trying to conduct a meeting and your yeah. baby needs to shut the fuck up. Like, Clark, get your kid. Lois, get your baby in check. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this infant? So they're passing him around and all that kind of stuff. And Mick is the one that gets him to quiet down, which was, you know, fun for me because Mick is the greatest. Like, always. And we get more from him where he's like reading his romance novel to the baby. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's just and everyone's like don't you think that's not like appropriate and he was like no nah, it is he's got it he's fine it's a baby that no kid under the age of two remembers anything from before that. Like, it's just... Exactly. Like, you don't remember anything before the age of two. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's like an Etch-A-Sketch. You can just, like, shake it and erase everything every day. Just keep it alive until they're, like, two or three years old. And then they start having memories. Um, now I just remembered where I know the monitor from. Where do you know the monitor from? Designated Survivor. I've heard of that show, but I've never seen it. The show with Keeper Southern. It's actually a really interesting show. I okay. was actually really, ups- I was really upset when uh, ABC had canceled it, but so relieved when Netflix was like, "Nah, we got this." Mm-hmm. I have to watch the season that Netflix did. I'm so excited to have time now to watch. Yeah. Other things. So. um this is when the, the monitor lets us know that there are seven paragons and we need them all. And we know that Kara is the paragon of hope. Sarah is the paragon of destiny. We find out pretty soon that the kingdom come Superman, which is played by Ray, is the paragon of truth. And at this point, we think that old angry Bruce Wayne is the paragon of courage. Nope. Yeah, that's Kate. That. It's a big old no, because we find out Car- that uh, Kate is the actual paragon of truth, of courage, I mean. And he was out here murking people. Bruh. We will talk about that in a second. So, Lila is getting all these these headaches and little dizzy shit and all that. I feel like ever since the Book of Destiny was open, she was going through some stuff. Yeah. And it was funny, because when everyone was like, I thought the book of destiny was destroyed and he just kind of pulled it out. Like you ain't destroyed shit, bitch. Like, yeah. I just went back to another, you no know, in time and moved some shit. And I just got another one and put it in the database on the wave rider. Cause you know, I can, so do- now y'all have everything. At I can your disposal. just do that. You know, it's just like, Oh, Oh, great. Great. Fuck you. You know, problem solved. This is just, it's, this is not inspiring trust, sir. Like, what the fuck? So we also know now that Lex stole the Book of Destiny. We In don't know true what he's Lex up. fashion. Yeah, we don't know what he's up to yet, but then we see he's just going from Earth to Earth, killing all the Supermans. Because fucking Lex. But he, so I knew this would happen. He's like, oh, everybody's got a role to play. I don't know what this role does for anything because he didn't really accomplish anything other than killing off a bunch of people, you know, that were Superman on Earth. It got destroyed anyway. So it was, right, like I, we could have, we could have gotten those help from those Superman. Even if we didn't get help from those people, like they would have died anyway. <laughs> like it's all just like, what the fuck was your plan? I think he just wanted the satisfaction of doing it himself. Not even I'm not even talking about Lex. I'm talking about the monitor. Like why was uh, he just why even bother if they're all gonna die anyway? So we then find out that Barry is planning to revive Oliver in one of the Lazarus pits that may be potentially on another earth. Yeah, and Mia this is, is in this on this is Mia's plan. idea. <laughs> She's all like, yeah. I'm and bringing- Barry's just like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, he's all for it. So that's the plan. Then we see Kate and Kara going to see Bruce Wayne. And we get open shirt Luke opening the door. Whew. That does Ooh. it for you. Open shirt Luke did it for you. Who knew that Luke Fox was ripped? Anybody that knew he was cast on a CW show? What? What do you mean mean he's cast on a CW show? Like, that's what they cast on CW shows. He's on the CW. That's all they put on their TV. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. 
all of them. All of them. Yes. The CW says, oh, you beautiful person, get on my TV shit. Well, in Gossip Girl, they were all beautiful people. Uh, I haven't even seen the show, but I know if it was on CW, they are all beautiful people. They weren't ripped, though. Just, but they were all wonderful to look at. They are. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. So, anyway. Christ. Wow. It's a very shallow channel. It is. It is, but it works. So, just give it to them. So since Luke won't let a man car kicks down the door and he like Luke pulls out a gun and shit like that's going to work on Supergirl. But right. And, or on Kate because Kate's got the bulletproof bat suit on. So they just like, yeah, whatever. Fuck you. But then down comes Bruce Wayne. In his exoskeleton. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Before he comes down, though, the one of the most satisfying things that I've ever heard on television was hearing Kevin Conroy's voice. The voice of the Batman for years. If you've watched any animated Batman thing, chances are you have heard this man voice the Batman. Kevin Conroy. Batman the Animated Series, Kevin Conroy. Multiple DC animated movies, Batman voice, Kevin Conroy. Honestly, Best Batman. Kevin. I want to go back and rewatch the whole Batman animated series. You should. Amazon Prime is there. DC Universe app, it's there. We don't have DC Universe anymore. You got Prime though, don't you? Yes. Okay, then. It's there too. Yes. I'm going to do that tonight. What do you mean, we? What is this we you speak of? The company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 exactly. (laughs) Anyway, like I said, Bruce with his weird exoskeleton and shit. The kid on his earth is dead. She died five years ago. Yada, yada. We already talked about Lex going to Earth to Earth, killing different Superman people. Constantine found the Lazarus Pit for the folks. Let's let's just get through this Bruce stuff before we go back. Um, so he's like super bitter. I, I don't know what happened to him in his life, but he's just angry. At everything. Yeah, we find out he killed Superman. He killed all the villains. Like, this man went nuts. Like, okay, you killed all those villains. Okay. Cool. But why Superman? What the fuck you kill Superman for? Well, he was just too powerful. He was a guy. He would leave you, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm going to need you to chill, brother. Right? Like, that's, nigga, no one asked you to do all that. Yeah. Like, this is, this is all just, I don't know, that's man. Like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> why are you like this? Exactly. So then he's like, yo, he going to kill Kara too. But Kate stops him, kicks him into some electric shit and, you know, let you use him to death. He dies. He got some kryptonite shit in his arm. Find out after that that Kate took that shit smartly. Yeah. I, I don't blame her for it, though. That's the thing. It's one of those things, like, I don't blame you for doing so. And the way she dealt with it later on was like, okay, okay, cool. This didn't turn into a thing. Good. But anyway, um, we're going to go back to Constantine with Sarah and Barry and Mia with the Lazarus pit. So Sarah makes Constantine promise that he can bring all of his soul back. Like, I mean, I don't know. No, 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 no. You promised me, motherfucker. And he's like, all right. So that happens. In the meantime, though, Lois, Clark, and Iris have a moment that I'm sure you really appreciate it, where they met Smallville Superman. 
Now, as someone who has never watched an episode of Smallville, I was just like, all right, cool. But as someone who, you know, is a dedicated fan of the Smallville series, how did that feel for you? Oh, my God. I was watching at work and I practically squealed out loud in my in my break room. And then oh. it was just like, and it was funny because they were making commentary on the fact that he was working slower and uh, the current Superman, Tyler Hecklin's Clark Kent, was like, that would take me like just one ease of a blow. Like, wow. And you come to find out that Clark actually gave up his powers so that he could have a family with Lois. And they used Erica Durant still as Lois, even though she was also playing Kara's mom. But, you know, That was one whatever. of the things um, I was going to ask you. So the whole giving up the powers thing, that didn't happen on Smallville, correct? Not, not to my knowledge. So the, the thing about Smallville, it technically has 10 seasons. However, they technically did like an 11th season in comic book I, form. I heard about that. So I don't know. I haven't had the opportunity to find that and read it. So I'm not sure what happened to season because I was also very confused when they were trying to warn Clark about Lex. And he had said, well, Lex is the president. And I was just like, wait a second. Lex is dead. How? So I was like, are they not keeping the feud? But I was like, whatever. I'm going to let it yeah, rock. That's yeah, in the, I don't know about in you know Smallville, but yeah, in the comic books, Lex does become president. But Yeah, I've known that. I just, um, it, it, like, if they were trying to keep the events that mm. Earth-167 Smallville went through, in my and from my knowledge, Lex is dead, and he's dead all the way through to the end. Really? Uh, they killed yeah, Lex he, Luthor in Smallville. Yeah. Huh. So bold choice. Yeah, I mean, there was a few times, like you know, that they kept they, you know, it seemed like he was dead, then he'd be alive again, and then, uh, and then they killed him again, and I don't know. So I don't know what season eleven did with the story because I never read it so mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe Lex was always still alive and blah 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 so you said the giving of the powers thing is not something that you're aware of which yeah. leads me to be just like how does one do that like how do you just say like oh I'm just not going to have my body react to yellow sunlight anymore like how do, how do you get that option well throughout the show there were a few times that Jorel had stripped Clark of his powers um, for wait, a lesson. Wait, you said Jorel? Yeah. And he did? The man died on Krypton. Wait, what the fuck? Um, it was something, it had something to do through the fortress, but like there's like other tech, like there was other technology that kept Jorel's. Like his I want to say spirit. Yeah, like his consciousness still alive. Hmm. Um, because there would be times Jorel would help. There would be times he'd punish Clark. I mean, a lot of times he was just trying to prepare Clark to become, you know, the That's just commander. It's so weird to me because, like, his powers are just a result of him just being a Kryptonian and the yellow sunlight. Like, how do you take that away? It's biological. I don't know. I mean, at some point, he also gave Jonathan Kent those the same power. So, see, see, that's why I'm not watching Smallville. The logic of the no. show, flawed. I'm not doing it. Anyway, from start to finish. What? You have to just watch it from start no, to finish. No, no, your logic on your show is flawed. I'm not doing it. Lost. Lost all makes sense. All right. Lost. Lost. All make you sense. made me watch Lost. And you are a better person for it. I am not a better person for it. You certainly are. I am not. You certainly are. All the television that you good. have now is thanks to Lost, all right? All the shows you love now is because Lost saved television. No. 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 Lost saved no. 
television. It did not. It certainly did. Just if anything. You, just because you refuse just, to appreciate his greatness and his contributions doesn't make the statement less true. Yes, Lost saved television. There would be no Game of Thrones. There would be no Walking Dead. There would be no fucking Arrowverse if it was not for Lost. I don't agree with you there, but and whatever. Turned the idea of must-see TV every fucking week. When Lost was yeah. on television every week, it was a motherfucking event. That wasn't happening before Lost. Anyway, got me all riled up over some other shit because you wanted to fame the greatness of Lost. Just because they happened to come on close to the writer's strike and pick up where everyone fell down. No, 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 no. The writer's strike did not happen till season four of Lost, my friend. Whatever. They had two, three full seasons of greatness before the writer's strike. Don't go there. Do not. You are incorrect there. They happened to come along during the writer's No, that's not when they came along. Fucker. You sound angry there. Yes. Put some respect on Lost Name. No. Nah. Anyway. So Lex shows up in Smallville, you know, in your flaw shows universe. And um that's when we find out he gave up his powers because Lex tries to use kryptonite on him. So now he's not weak against kryptonite because he gave up his powers, which is still weird because he's still Kryptonian. So that should still work. That's stupid. But he handed him the right he handed him the kryptonite. He was he like looked at it like hmm. Nice rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gave up his powers because, yeah, however that works, whatever. Uh, we already talked about. Then he man. punched him. Yeah, he punched the fuck out of him. He knocked him the fuck out and then he left because, you know, he knew. He uh. Um, We talked about Mick reading the novel to the baby. So, Kingdom Come Superman. They find him. It's Ray, of course. We talked about this, but we find out that the fucking Joker killed everybody he cared about. Crazy motherfucker. Because, well, we know this from the comics, but, you know, they talked about it on the show. He's just, you know, a fucking Joker. Um, but then here comes Lex again doing his Lex thing. Like, yeah. I could just kill this Superman, but hey, you know what? I'm going to make Superman kill Superman. Because reasons. Well, because we got to make it so that they survive because we need this guy in this plot. So, you know, we can't let Lex be logical here. But, you know, I we mean, get a Superman versus Superman fight, which was fun to see. But in the midst of this, Lois just knocks out Lex and they get the book from him. And that's the end of that. And ah, the Lazarus pit. So they're at the Lazarus pit. They dump all of his body in the Lazarus pit. Uh, Constantine and Barry are like, yo, we'll be right back. Oh, they got to go back and get Barry's body after they find the pit. So they go to get the body. And while they're going to get the body, here comes an alternate earth to Jonah Hex. Because I don't know. Maybe they Is try. that who that was supposed to be? Yeah. Oh, okay. And <laughs> Cause I was just like, why they gotta they why they gotta they also like a go, sleazy cowboy. Like they went to this other earth, but they also go back in time. Because Jonah Hex is in the past. You know, he's in the eighteen hundreds. I guess so. So like why? Well, Constantine said something about like they were Lazarus pits being destroyed all over the place. So this was just the one that they found. So, but I'm saying if they were going to go back in time, they could have just gone back in time on their earth. 
It's just unnecessary to go to another earth if they're going to go back in time anyway. I don't know. You asked me the wrong question. I'm not really asking you. I'm just bringing up the point that it just like it yeah. doesn't make sense for them to do this. Anyway, Why bring a gun to an assassin fight? Because assassins can kill you without guns. Exactly. But if you have a gun, you might have a slight chance. No. It's not likely, but it's better than you ha- better chance than you have without the gun. I guess. Anyway, me and Sarah whoop his ass. That's the end of that. They throw Oliver in the pit. He takes a little while, but he pops out. Yo, they dragged Oliver in there like it was weekend at Bernie's. He's just like, yo, 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 like drag him in here. Just, just toss him in. Just in. right. Like I was like, bro. <laughs> and then when they went back to Bruce before he died. When he was talking about maybe we should all die, and I went, like the way he was talking about how Superman was, I started thinking, is this the Earth that Ben Affleck's Batman would have been on? I don't know, yeah, because that Batman was pretty angry. Like that's all I that's all I kept getting was like no, this is because gonna, if that this was the Batman that Ben Affleck was on, then it would have been Ben Affleck. They were not getting Ben Affleck the exactly, same way they were. Why it's not that Earth? It's a different Earth. It's the one with Kevin Conroy. That's so I was like, because I was gonna say it's the same reason they didn't get Kate Bosworth for uh, they had to just kill. They had to use a storyline where the Joker kills everyone in Clark's life. <laughs> they weren't getting Kate Bosworth to come back for Lois. Eh. For a one-off, they probably could. But anyway, Man, here's the problem. Here, well, not the problem. You know what's missing from this crossover? You want to know what one cameo we didn't get. And we might get it on January 14th. That might be when we get this. I doubt it. But, you know, whatever. We are missing one that I care about. Dean Kane, mm. Lois and Clark, New Adventures of Superman. Why didn't we get Dean Kane? He's not busy. He was actually on Supergirl for a not while. Not anymore. You know, he's just he ain't doing shit. Where the fuck is Dean Kane? CW his do better. And his cute ass. Greg, what the fuck? However, back to what's happening on this episode. We got, you know. Constantine can't bring his soul back. They're like, oh shit, we in trouble. <laughs> and we get Kate and Carr talking. I believe this is when Kate lets Carr know that she has the, the kryptonite. Is this it? This when this happens? No. Okay. Well then never mind. It's not till part three, but you it just keeps looking like Kate's like Debating whether or not she's gonna have to use right, this on car. Right, 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 right. This is when they're like, yo, I might have to use this shit. I ain't scared of you. Fuck you. And it was like, you know, a little mirror in the Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne dynamic where it's just like, Bruce, like, I ain't scared of you because I got this right here. I can take you out if I really want to. Right, like, I can fuck you up. Yeah. And then we find out the reason why Lila's been all fucked up in the head and getting headaches and shit is because the anti monitor has been summoning her. And trying to recruit her. Yeah. And that was the end of that one. I was like, don't do it, Lila. But she did it. Oh, she did it. She definitely did it. And then. Part three. Not yet. Because Black Lightning happened before that. What? Black Lightning was before part three. Black Lightning had an episode? Yes. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, I really thought it was just the crossovers. You're the worst. I am the worst. So, 
on this episode of Black Lightning, it kicks off with um, Jennifer. She's talking to Anissa in this little vlog thing she has going on. And through this little vlog thing she's doing, she just, you know, she's just being a dumb teenager because, you know, she's a dumb teenager. That's what they do. Yeah, yeah. And we find out in this episode, the outside world doesn't know what's really going on in Freeland, even though they tried to get that signal out with the little videos and messaging and shit. ASA intercepted that shit and manipulated it. So they think it's Fuck. Good. So like, yo, it's just like little anti-vaxxers, you know, being ultra liberal and all that kind of shit. And they've, yeah, yeah. Yep. A whole lot of fake news going on here. Oh my God. I'm angry getting ready to watch this now too. Mm -hmm. And then we got, you know, bald nigga calling Jennifer at the house. And she's like, yo, what the fuck? What if my parents were? Odell? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. And she was just like, yo, what if my parents were here? Like, well, they're not. So listen up. That sounds that sounds weird. Yeah, yeah. So they go back and forth, but it's whatever. Um, nothing really deep happened there. It was just her going back and forth with him like she always does. Um She loves challenging that nigga. Well, yeah, but fuck I'm him. here for it. I hear you, exactly. Fuck him. Like I'm here for it. I'm just saying, I love it. Then we got when, you know, Anissa tells Jeff that Khalil's alive. Oh, my God. I wonder how that went. Yeah. Yeah, that was an interesting talk. You know, if only you watched the episode. Um, yeah, I know. And then the sky turns red. Like, oh, shit. Shit's going down. Crisis time. So, in this moment, as the skies turn red, because of the way her powers work, she's like fluctuating and shit between Earths, and she ends up meeting two alternate versions of herself in this weird little limbo place. Yeah, it's crazy good shit, which you probably should have watched. Anyway. Why wouldn't they just put it part of Crisis? Because it's not a part of Crisis. It was an episode of Black Lightning. Oh my god. And as someone on, you know, the Super Flashy Air of Tomorrow podcast, you would think that you would know what's going on with the shows. I so, thought it was just so anyway, the crisis episodes. I didn't even see Black Lightning on the list of things when I was looking for a live stream. Excuses, excuses, excuses. So. They just want to act so hard that it's not part of crisis. Anyway. Like I said, it was an episode of Black Lightning because nobody else from any of the other shows were in this episode. Crisis affected this episode, but they were not in it. There was no crossover in this show. So, <clears throat> Earth One Jennifer, we find out, she is like has this little inhibitor collar on because she fucked with the water like this weird thing, like with the water, like in Flint, and like, yo, if you do this with the water, everybody meta human that drinks it, their meta powers go away. So it took away her her sister's powers and took away her father's powers. Also on this earth, Anissa hasn't come out yet. Oh man. Also on this earth, Khalil's all good. Oh yay! He, he's got a he got a scholarship, I believe, it's to UCLA. All that kind of stuff. His his life is all good. ASA shows up at her house. Oh, well, she's our our Jennifer that we know is viewing all. What Earth are they on? Did we find that out yet? That the Black Lady that we watch. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. But um, she's seeing all this because she's like fluctuating between Earths. But she's like mm -hmm. she can't do anything. She can just be there and see it. She's like all ghosty and shit. Oh, okay. Um, ASA shows up at the house and they're like, yo, Jeff, you've been like, you know, you've been fucking up. You've been, you know, he's been doing what they're doing on Earth, on the Earth that Black Lightning takes place on and like smuggling meta, meta kids out, you know, him and the preacher, oh, okay. him and the preacher man. Um, and Jennifer's all in that Earth is all pissed off because when she did the water thing, 
Jeff didn't stand up for. And so, like, she's been getting locked up in the pit by Odell. So she's pissed, but then, you know, the ASA showed up at the house and finds out that he's been, you know, smuggling people out. She's like, oh, he's actually been helping. And they shoot him down execution style right there in the house in front of Jennifer and Anissa. Yeah, yeah. You know that chick we don't like from the ASA? Ah! Boom, right in the face. Oh, and my I, God. I, I think it was see her chest. shot in the face. I think it was in the chest. Yeah, I think it was in the chest. Might as well have been in the face, though, the way they did it. Um, I'm clutching my pearls. Yeah, so apparently, like, on this earth, like, you know, the ASA has taken over the entire city. Like, he, like, referred to them as the high council and all that kind of stuff. Like, he was like, you know, yeah, some other shit. Um, so, yeah, she's fluctuating and all that kind of stuff. Earth One Jennifer is, like, in the pit blaming herself for Jeff dying. So our Jennifer is in um, Anissa's apartment because she went there to see her. She was waiting on to show up when all this shit went down. And Gabby shows up. He's like, yo, I can't figure out what's going on with her. Um, Anissa's like, yeah, I've been calling my mama. She ain't answering the phone and all that. You know why she's not answering the phone? Because she's strung out on green love. Well, you know she dropped her bag. Oh no, she's going through withdrawal from no, green light. That's not what's happening. She is in a oh, fucking she's... kitchen making more green light. I thought you were gonna say she was sucking dick for a green light. I mean, no, that wasn't she's what's a step away. She's a step away from it. Yeah, she's not far from that. No, she's in the kitchen making her own homemade green light. That's what's happening. But she finally shows up to help Jennifer. Then her and Jeff have this argument. Like, this is your fault. You made this bed. You laid it because you tried to change with the blah, 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 side with the rebels and all that. Like, motherfucker, you are, like, all up in the ASA. Like, fuck you. Anyway. um, So that's what's happening there. Then we see Earth 2 Jennifer. She's walking through the school halls. She shows up in Jeff's classroom. She's got this new, like, you know, all black suit because she's clearly the bad one. And hey. she's like openly working with bald nigga. And her and Jeff have an argument about it. Um, our Jennifer has been watching this happen. Um, then we see, I guess, Odell sent her on some mission. And in this mission, she really didn't have to do all this, but she just killed everybody in the building. So she's like Khalil, but just as Jennifer. Basically, I guess, yeah. Um, let's see. Ah, so back where we're, you know, the earth that we know with Black Lightning, um, and this is telling everybody in the room about Khalil. And then, you know, Lynn's like, yeah, I know. And Jeff's like, yo, what the fuck? I've uh, always known. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's like, yo, what the fuck? Um, but they also see that the ASA is gonna like weaponize the green light kids in their little internment camp or whatever. Because, you know, the in rebels their version hitting, of Auschwitz. Well the rebels been hitting all their spots, so like, yo, they're probably gonna hit this camp next. So let's get, you know, over to the camp there, put the little control chips in all the green light kids and use them as weapons to fight off these rebels. So, you know, Jeff's like, oh, I got to deal with that shit. And then off he goes. Um, back on Earth 2, Jennifer shows up at her family's house because, you know, she's fucking nuts on this Earth. And basically ends up killing everybody. She kills Jeff. She kills Anissa. She kills Lynn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Our Jennifer watched the whole thing happen. And then, right at this moment, this is when their Earth is taken Consumed. out. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, you know, their Earth. The Earth that Black Lightning is on. The Earth is taken out because back in this little spot where all three of the Jennifers are, like, yo, you look it up, like, yo, what the fuck is happening here? Why am I seeing this? Blah, blah, blah. It has something to do with her powers and where she's like interacting with the antimatter. But um, mm -hmm. 
they see the antimatter wave coming. Whole Earth is taken out. But right before that happens, Monitor snatches up Black Lightning. Oh, okay. So now that kind of explains, like, when he came in in part three so abruptly. And I was just like, okay. Yeah, it would help if you had watched Black Lightning, you know? It's just it would help crazy would how if you watch the shows, you'll know what's going on. Nuts, I know. So then we get to the Flash, which is part three of the crisis. This is the actual part three. Not yes. like you thought I was going to say about part three. Now we're at part three because, you know, Black Lightning happened before this. Don't roll your eyes because you didn't watch all the shows. You was I'm not rolling my eyes. They're just staring. They're not rolling. Mm, you had to roll them up to stare. They were open that way. Mm-hmm. So we kick off with a little Birds of Prey cameo on Earth 203. Is that Earth 203? Mm-hmm. In New Gotham. Yeah. Um, and, of course, that gets wiped out. And then we Team got... Team Flash shows up. Hmm? So then Team Flash shows up at the Wave Rider. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Ray and Cisco, they're like, yo, we got to fix this little Paragon detector thing that Ray's been working on. So they get it fixed. And they're like, all right, we know who all the Paragons are now. Of course, Barry's one of them. And um, Jean is one of them. But then the other one, the Paragon of Humanity, is some random dude. That is no random dude. They wanted to, whatever... The- What did they name him? Something Choi. That is Kevin Tran from Supernatural. Ryan Choi. His name is Kevin Tran. Good for him. So. Yep. We find out. He was a prophet. Oh, I think I saw him. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the earlier seasons that I actually watched. Of the Lord. Yeah, I think I've seen him. I miss Kevin. Yeah, of course he's in the crossover because they put everybody from the CW on that fucking crossover. By the way, did you see that Stargirl trailer? No. Yeah, there's a Stargirl trailer. That show's coming in the spring. I'm like, oh, fuck you. Anyway, For CW? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you. Anyway. Ugh. We find out what the enemy monitor wants is to destroy all of existence and replace it with an existence that he can control. Because he's evil. Because that's what they do. It's what evil people do. Yeah, basically. Then Dig shows up on the Wave Rider and he's pissed about Oliver, as he should be. Finds he's out. He's like, my best friend's dead. <laughs> my wife is missing. Like he's just he's not happy at my all. My best friend is dead. Like he's he's an angry black man today. That's okay. Yeah, exactly. He, rightfully so. Rightfully. Right. So. Okay, yeah, you're right. Because Kay still has the kryptonite here. I got a little mo- little note here about that. Um so we find out that Cisco, like, ah, here's the source of the antimatter wave right here. In our backyard. Yeah, yeah. And then, then the monitor's like, hey, Cisco, we need vibe. Boop. You got your powers back. Is that rape? There was no consent, and it didn't seem like he wanted it. There was no penetration, though. But that's vibe rape or power rape. Maybe just more, eh, legally, it'd probably just be assault. Meta rape. No, it'd be meta assault. Okay, meta There's assault. No penetration involved. Okay. So it would just be so assault. That's assault. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still illegal. Horrible. Thoroughly illegal. Prosecuted. You know, it's like Cisco became vibe with against his will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have a choice in the matter here. We need vibe, so you're gonna be vibe now. You're not a paragon, but you got purpose. Exactly. As does Lex, which I still haven't figured out what his purpose is. But uh, I just want Kara to set him on fire. <laughs> so then um, we got... Make Lena watch. 
Vibe and Frost going to that underground spot that we kept seeing Nash Wells in, in those little after credits. Who is things. now Pariah. Yeah, Pariah. And Cisco has to vibe Nash's memory so they can open that door because he can't remember anything anymore. Also, we got Kate and Carl forcing Lex to tell them how to use the Book of Destiny. But also, like, Kate continuously telling Carl, like, you don't know what's going to happen if you open that book, girl. Yeah, I'm going like, to need you to chill. Like, we're not doing this. This is not what we're doing. The more Earths that they've destroyed um, from the shows, like for Black Lightning and Cars, I was like, "Well, I see that we're gonna, rest- I see that we're gonna get these Earths back." Yeah, we have. So, well, well, by the end of this episode, they're all gone. So, <laughs> this is true. Anyway, even, even even us, Travis, even you and I are gone. Yeah, Earth Prime is gone. We don't exist anymore. We don't exist. We're just talking about it. Until January 14th. My God, that's a long time to not exist. It is, but honestly, that's it's good. It means I don't have to pay January rent. You right. However, then we see Constantine needs some help getting them into purgatory. From Lucy. Yeah, man. Then we get Lucy that was the, from Morningstar. It was the best three minutes ever. So happy to see that man. Like it's just I miss that show so much. Yeah, I'm, I really can't wait for them to come back. But then it's the end, right? Yeah. We're not gonna talk about that though. Happy thoughts. Because it's okay, we can just keep rewatching it. This is like I do with Smallville. Like, like this is, you know. These three shows was like their version of Infinity War. Like this is what this is, you know. Bring it. Yeah, in. a lot of the storylines and the way they've been executing the different storylines really have been reminding me of um, Infinity War and Endgame, kind of put together. No, no, it's, this is Infinity War. January fourteenth is Endgame. <sighs> This is Infinity War right here. You can tell like by the way it all ends and everything. Yeah. This is Infinity War right here. It ends with the all is lost moment. But there's kind of a little bit of hope because these these people are still here. This is Infinity War. January 14th, we get Endgame. However, back to this though. Yes. So we they got and that was just really exciting. But then they like, yo, purgatory. They get Yep. Guess what purgatory is? Lian Yu, because it all comes back. I told you, everything comes back to Lian Yu. Yeah. And of course, there's a time limit because, you know, you got to put some kind of clock on this. Mm hmm. Needs to be some urgency going on. Got to be out of there before the card fades. Yeah. So they're in there. However, and they put the amazing detail in the card because it does look just like his devil face. Yeah. And then they go in to this room. Well, you know, Barry and Vibe and Frost go into that room because they open the door. And they find out that Earth 90 Flash is stuck on He's this on super treadmill. treadmill that's powering the antimatter cannon. Yes. I'm like, huh, your life sucks. You know what's crazy? Because at this moment, when they were talking about Earth 2 was being gone, it, re- it wasn't until they mentioned it that I realized Harry, um, Harry Wells and Jesse were also gone. Yep. Yes. Everybody. So. Everybody in the Earth getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the thing, though. I have questions, Mara. Because they say if Flash got off the treadmill, that the cannon has a fail safe. And if the mm-hmm. f- goes off, it destroys all the Earths at once. Yep. So if the Animonitor could do that, why didn't he just do that in the first place? Because I think he likes the idea of fear. It's fucking stupid. I mean, what? If he has an end goal in mind, you can just go ahead and do it now. Then just fucking do it. 
We never said he was bright. This is what's wrong with comic book villains and villains in general. Why do they prolong shit when they don't have to? Because they know we'll sit here and watch. It's fucking stupid. But we still do. We still prove them right, though. Hmm? We still prove them right, though. How so? Because we still sit here and watch. (laughs) At least we call them on their stupidity. Well, I do call them on their stupidity. That's fine. The end, they, 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 their end goal still gets. No, it doesn't still, because they lose. I'm talking about the the creators, not the villain. I'm talking about the villain and their stupidity. Got a spider on the ceiling? No, I was looking at the date. You don't know what the date is? No. How do you not know the date? I've had a really hard time remembering what day of the week it's been. Like Actually, I don't know why. In your time zone, it is probably the most important day of the year. It's Thursday. I said date of the year. It's 12 12. Yes. The most important date of the year. It's the last 12 12 of the decade. Oh, you suck. Why? Wow, really? Wow. I'm just going to continue on this because you don't, you know what? Nope. Anyway. Wait, wait, the only reason I was looking at the date was because something had flashed across my phone. It was like the final full moon of the decade is 12-12 at 12-12 a.m. And I was just like, oh, what's today's date? Yes. 12-12. At 12-12 a.m. See, because you are still fucking up right now. Why am I fucking up? You are genuinely fucking up right now. and I'm. Can you at least tell me how I'm fucking up? No, because you should know. How do you not know this, Mara? How long have you known me? Five years. Five, six years. And by now, you don't know why 1212 is important. I do. Do you? Yes, but we're going to finish the episode and then we can go on about that. Anyway, so random Asian dude, like, oh, I can't, I don't know how I can help in all this, blah, 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 blah. And then we get a little talk between the monitor and Lois. I don't, I don't know. It didn't seem all that important to me. But um, <sighs> then we get Black Lightning, who finally shows up in the underground, plays with the Flash and all those people. And he is not happy. He is not really pleased to be there. What's the fuck's going on? Why am I here? Where the fuck is my family? I gotta get back. Who the fuck are these like white people? Turn into like weird, weird little shiny dots and shit. You didn't <laughs> see the show, so you don't know what I'm talking about. But whatever. Um, yeah. Also, who are all these random white people? <laughs> but it turns out they need Jeff to, like, you know, to hold off the machine, shut it down, or whatever. Because he's the only person who could absorb that kind of energy yeah. and not explode. Exactly. We like it when they, when our characters don't explode. It's it's always a good thing for them not to explode. You know, the ones we like, at least. So, Lena can explode. I might get some satisfaction out of that. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. At this like, point, not like all bloody and gutty and, and gory, but I mean like like poof. Like into like dust or glitter or maybe it was all like internal or maybe all her internal organs explode and she just collapses exactly that'd be fun you're awful so why am i awful because i'm not gonna you, say i'm awful you. so kate and cara they have more arguments about the book because cara is so stubborn she has hope, Mara. 
she has too much goddamn hope, man. Like, and then we get a line from Barry, like, it's time for Flash to vanish in the crisis. Like, yeah, we got to run this treadmill in reverse. They get little things where, like, you know, he has to say goodbye to everybody. You know, Kate comes back as, you know, as Kate instead of Frost. And they're like, "Mm," and I'm just like, it's so hard to say goodbye. But then Earth 90 Barry is like, no, fuck that. I'm taking your shit and I'm going to do it. And he was like, they never said which Flash had to die. Yeah, they just said Barry Allen. They said the Flash. They didn't say which one. So he hops. It would have been different her. if it was Jay Garrick trying to do it. It's like, nah, yeah. you're not. You're not Barry Allen. Sorry. Exactly. Exactly. So, oh, also on Leah and you, they found Oliver. But um. And it was very easy to convince to remind him who he was. Yeah. For like, plot purposes. Like two lines, and he was good. Two lines of "I'm sorry, I wasn't there. I knew you needed me." Oh, hey, uh-huh. Dig. I know you. <laughs> Give me a hug. Yeah. What up, Dig? My nig. So yeah. Um, Earth ninety flash runs in reverse, destroys the machine. Um, they do a flashback to his show. Yeah, they did. They did. Now I'm just like single thug tear. But then, while they're only in you purgatory. We find out that Oliver's not coming back. He has to serve another purpose. He is now Spectre. Whatever that means. Oh, the Spectre. Basically, he's like, the Spectre is somebody, well, another one that I haven't like read thoroughly, but like I know some things about him. He's very useful in a situation like this. I put it that way. Okay. He can, um, Manipulate time and space. So that's very helpful. And yeah, that's about all I remember from what what I have seen or read, you know. But yeah, Spectre is useful in a situation like this. Useless. Um, Then we got Barry and Jeff. They have their little talk. It's very inspirational. They bonded over their dads being dead. Yeah, yeah. Dead parents will do that for you. Yeah. Then uh, we get the moment where Kate finally tells Carl that she has the kryptonite. And Carl's like, Why do you have that? Why do you have that? Oh my God. And then Kate tells her why. And then Carl's like, All right. Well, you know what? Keep it. I trust you. I guess so. And he's like, all right, cool. So we, this is it. Is we just okay with this? All right, good. You're, you're way more mature about this than I expected you to be, Car. Right, because before she was, she was uh, tripping. She, if somebody, right, she was like, you gonna have kryptonite against me? How can I trust you? Yeah, anytime somebody even looked at kryptonite, he was like, how dare you think about owning kryptonite? <laughs> Like you would want to have the one thing that would hurt me? Yes, bitch. Yeah, the it's the one, one thing, thing that can hurt you. That would hurt you. Exactly. You know what you have that can hurt me? Everything. Right. Your entire life. So then Harbinger returns. And we see she tries to act like she don't remember shit, but she's actually doing the anti monitor's will and just whoops. I'm happy that they saw through the her bullshit real quick. Like she would I was everybody asked though. Oh yeah, nah, she was disrespectful with that shit. But yeah, they but like it didn't take them long to realize, like, uh, what if this whole time this was a part of his plan? Yeah, yeah. Because they I was like, thank they God. Even say, like, yo, she's done. probably with the anti monitor right now. So they figured it out. But then right after that, Earth One gets destroyed. But in the middle of them, like, you know, he tries to take out the, everybody in the wave rider too. But like Briar's like, I'm gonna send all these dudes away. This is my purpose. So he sends all the paragons to the vanishing point. Everybody else gets wiped out. But fucking Lex. Oh my god. Fucking Lex Luthor. 
always got a deuce. I was like, what's going on to Clark? Yeah, because Lex Luthor somehow got his hands on the Book of Destiny. How did he get out Again. of the fucking cell? How did he get Again. out? Again. How did he get out, Mara? How? I don't know, Travis. I'm tell as you how. baffled as you are. Fucking up. They are fucking up. He got out. He got his hands on the Book of Destiny and used that so he can replace Kingdom Come Superman with himself. Now, what the fuck are we supposed to do now now that Lex Luthor has to be the paragon of truth? Which is horrible. How much truth does Lex Luthor speak? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. And there we are with the all is lost moment. The Avengers will be back in 2020. (laughs) Damn shame. So what do we do now? I don't know. We, we get Wait to, for January 14th. That's what we do now. Yeah, it's like we pretty much can't do anything. I mean, honestly, I'm happy to have a month off. Facts. There are so many other things that I want to watch right now. It's not even that, Mar. I'm just tired. It's just. I feel like we're always like this once we get to like the, the midway season. Yeah, the mid-season finale, we're always just like, oh, my God, let's end this. And then the season finales, we're just like, oh, my God, let's just end this. <laughs> and then we find out <laughs> then we find out there's like four more episodes of Supergirl, and we're like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the whole winter break, there's going to still be Supergirl episodes. Yeah, yeah. Somehow, like, oh, you didn't, we put out like six web episodes that are like 12 minutes long that you need to watch now. They're they're part of the universe. They're canon. Yeah, so you have to watch them. And honestly, if they do that, I will personally write CW a letter and tell them to eat a dick. Just as long as that and not like a threat. No, I just tell them to eat a dick. I just felt like the need to tell you that. You think I would threaten them, Mar? Maybe. You're right. However... <laughs> That's the end of Crisis Part 1 through 3, plus this Black Lightning episode that kind of worked in its way into the crisis that Mara didn't watch. Anything else you want to talk about with the crisis right now? Um, I wonder if Oliver will, play, will continue playing a part. Oh, well, yeah, he will. He's, he'll be. He's Spectre now. We got to do something with that. Okay. And that's why he wasn't on any Earth at that point. So when they wiped all of existence out, he wasn't there. So that's why he didn't come back because he's not a paragon. So they were like, nah, son, we need you to be here. They're about to wipe out everybody. Yeah, so he was like, I'm gonna stay right here as Spectre. All you paragons are gonna get saved, and then I'm gonna come to you as Spectre. We're gonna save the world. All of them. Spectre gadget. Not inspector, just Spectre. I know. No, I know. I'm being an asshole. I, I, it wasn't, that wasn't for you. That was for the people listening. I just got to oh. make sure that they didn't think that we said inspector. Anything else? Nope. Cool. Well then, folks. This has been episode 100 of Super Flashy Arrow of Tomorrow. Do not forget. If you like what we Don't do. Don't forget. You can go to patreon.com slash creation world. You can throw some support there. You know, dollar level, we'll give you a little shout out. Hey. Five dollar level, you get all our extra content a month Woo. early. You know, for this show, we're doing source material where we look at, you know, the comic books that inspired the shows that we're watching here. If you're a wrestling fan, we do return to wrestling where we go back and look at old stuff from wrestling. Talk about it. Right now, we're going through old WCW stuff. Matt's not too happy about it, but I'm happy to make him watch it because it's fun for me. Um, let's see. But yeah, there are other tiers and all that, but for $1 and $5, you can give us a whole lot of support. We really appreciate that. If you go to patreon.com slash creation world, you look at all the other stuff. It's cool. It's fun stuff. Also, 
You can follow us on both Twitter and Instagram at The Creation World. That is at T-H-E-C-R-E-A-T-I-A-W-O-R-L-D. Go to that Twitter and follow us on Twitter. We need followers on Twitter. Instagram is okay. We can use more there too. Twitter's struggling. Why are y'all not following us on Twitter? Do better. You can also follow me on both Twitter and Instagram. That is at Sir underscore Cussalat. That is at S-I-R underscore C-U-S-S-A-L-O-T-T. Sharknado, where can they find you? Always on Instagram and Twitter at Marda Shark. That's M-A-R-A-D-A-S-H-A-R-K. Cool. We will catch you all in a month. In January. We'll miss you guys. Not really, Break time. but we will. We are taking a break, just like the CW is taking a break. What's up, Chris? I'm going on vacation. Yeah, man. So we will catch you all then. Until then, we out.